What's up, it's called back in another video. I'm Rick. Okay. We got Andrew Tate movie trailer. This was requested. I hope this is the right one. You feel me? Um, but, uh, fam, y'all want to like I guess so. Everybody been commenting saying react to Andrew Tate movie trailer. So, we here. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this because I say it on every single podcast. If they lock me up for some insane bullshit, Andrew Tate has been arrested. I didn't do it. The, the Matrix has attacked me. If I carry on at the trajectory I'm carrying on, they're going to put me in jail because I'm too influential. For the people watching at home, they just need to sit and understand that the system does not make rules for the good of you. It makes rules for the good of the people who make the rules. And a lot of the life paths laid out to the average man at home today is not for their own good. It's only going to lead them to depression and misery. Do you think you're a force for good? I absolutely not really know I'm a force for good because I'm a force for truth. And truth is a good thing. Without truth, we're going to end up in absolute tyranny and slavery, and we're already on our way there. Men are largely forgotten about. There's no evidence in my file that that's nothing wrong. Everybody knows I'm innocent. Like, this is a one thing that a lot of people don't do is they don't want to hear the truth for a lot of shit. I will say, yeah. Yeah. So they might feel like some of the shit he say is wrong, some of the shit he say is right. Yeah. Or they, or they just don't. That is right. Or they just don't believe in it at all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Huge injustice the way we see it. They should not be detained at this point. Masculine men have a duty to provide and protect those they care about. We have a duty to do things we don't feel like doing because we know we're supposed to do them. And it's your duty as a man to stand up and say, I want to be as important and strong and good hearted and God fearing as possible. And I need to work hard to achieve those things. If you cannot control your own mind, then you are just a feather in the wind of life because your own mind is the only thing you can control. You can't control the weather. Right. You can't control other people. You can't even control whether your heart stops beating. You might have a heart attack tomorrow. You can't control anything besides what you think. There's no such thing as too much masculinity if it's genuinely masculine. Genuine masculinity is not out here to hurt people. It's absolutely the opposite. It's out here to protect. And when bad things happen, they call traditionally masculine men. If you need a firefighter, you need a masculine man. When you call the police because of the problem you have, you want masculine men. And as soon as a woman or a man is in trouble, when you look for backup, you look for masculine men. And masculine men have a duty to provide and protect those they care about. We have a duty to do things we don't feel like doing because we know we're supposed to do them. And that's why we stayed in the Titanic and died. And the dangerous thing about overly emotional men is yeah. that they're dangerous. They're genuinely dangerous. This is what's crazy. All these people who talk people about- don't, People don't want to hear this shit though. He's I speaking, he's speaking this shit. Yeah, he Stayed in the Titanic and died. And the dangerous thing about overly emotional men is that they're dangerous. They're genuinely dangerous. This is what's crazy. All these people who talk about toxic masculinity and how bad it is for men to be traditionally masculine. A traditionally masculine man does things he doesn't feel like doing because it is his duty to do them. He charges into the burning building because it is his duty. Not because he feels like it, because it is his duty. We're now teaching the new generation of men that they don't have duty and they can just act on their feelings and act how they feel and they don't have to act as a man should. Do you know what happens when you get men who just act how they feel? You get school shooters, you get violence, you get racists. Men who do not control their emotions are dangerous. If you find a man who is stoic, he's not gonna hurt people. He's gonna sit and think about his actions very carefully and he's gonna be a good man who protects for and provides for his family. You find a man who just acts out on impulse and does whatever he feels like, you're gonna find a dangerous man. Sitting here telling men to cry more and act with their feelings and it's okay to feel this way, that way, etc., and have no self-control. That shit, he about to make a nigga cry. He talking about telling men to cry more shit. He gonna make somebody cry. Just to, just not not even based on like just him in general like just like fear or nothing like that is just more so of like him speaking the truth and like having somebody actually, yeah, actually speak yeah. on it yeah. like influence to speak on that so a lot of people can like know like what's going on like yeah. to get it to get it out there you know what i'm saying people don't talk about what he's talking about yeah feelings and it's okay to feel this way that way etc and have no self-control that is why we have the problems we have in the world absolutely not really wrong so when they talk about toxic masculinity they have it completely inversed on its head completely not really wrong we need to be teaching stoicism we need to be teaching young men to understand that the world is very very difficult it's hard to be a man you're going to feel bad sometimes you just suck it up and perform anyway not to sit there you cry your eyes out or blame other people we live in a comfortable world now where people think oh it doesn't matter it doesn't matter but you know what to some degree it does matter it does matter and i'm going to tell you who it matters to it matters to your soul and it matters to god i stand in the mirror with a pure heart I know I am the best version of me that could possibly ever exist. I know that God is proud of me. There's nothing that God hates more than sloth and laziness. If God were to create a man and that man were to sit around and do fuck all, God will frown upon you. It's why you're never lucky. 
If you're listening to this and you think I'm never lucky, I'll tell you why. Because God dislikes you because you're fucking lazy. Start to work. Start to show God the beauty of his own creations. You'd be amazed how lucky you'll become. A lot of people need to hear this, though. Mm -hmm. A lot of people need to hear this. Oh, yeah. A lot of people need to hear this for the simple fact of you just like. It's kind of hard to explain. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of men literally keep shit to themselves. I would say yeah. Other than like men, women, like they keep shit to themselves and they don't really explain. I would say they think they gotta keep everything in. Like basically. But it's it but that's why a lot of men do though. Is because they think that's the that's the way, like I'm supposed to keep it in because I'm supposed to be like the strong one. Exactly. Yeah. But that's how I am. You don't wanna blame nobody else. You all just yeah, self accountable. But still. You don't. You don't always have to, but at the but same time, that's true. how, especially yeah. if you was raised by a man. Say, yeah, then it's your, feel like it's your job. Yeah. It's your job. Take care of your family. God is unhappy with these people. And inside their hearts, they're unhappy. We talk about depression, anxiety. That comes from self-loathing. You loathe your own weakness. You loathe your own laziness. This is what all of these things are. I don't feel depression. How can I feel depression when I'm the most powerful version of me that I could ever fucking be? How can I feel depression when I could squeeze my own hand hard enough to break my own bones? How can I feel depression when I've smashed and destroyed 68 people's faces in front of me? Men who thought they could test me in fair combat. How can I feel depressed? It's impossible. Do you understand? Do you want to learn the trading strategy I have I been perfecting for 20 years? Hello, I'm Tom Lu. I have been teaching me. That I needed to hear. You understand? And a lot of other people. You know what I'm saying? Um, you it's, 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 it's one of those things of you call like I said in another video. Uh, what video was that? I forgot. It was in that video. Basically, you call out your bullshit. Oh yeah, yeah, that, uh, that book. Yeah, David Goggins. Call out your bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those things. Yeah. Like, you damn near gotta tell yourself. Like, you gotta talk to yourself. Yeah. Tell yourself. I'm lazy. You feel me? Yeah. Stop I'm being lazy, lazy type yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Andrew takes one of the most wonderful <laughs> human beings I've ever met in my life. Mm. I hate everything that's going on. Like, love him with all my heart. Yeah. Like, I'll die on that mountain with you, bro. Yeah. Let's get on that hill. Where's the sword? Why is he the enemy of the state, so to speak? He's, He's going got on. the hearts of young men. Mm -hmm. He's got the hearts of young men. And that's a threat. Absolutely. I feel like men nowadays need an Andrew Tate. He's a guy who's motivating men to be men. If you cannot control your own mind, then you go through life with zero control, zero influence. You can't control anything. You're just a feather in the wind waiting for life to blow you from happy place to sad place to happy place to sad place. Completely hoping on the gods to be fortunate to you because if any genuine discomfort comes your way, you're fucked. Because everybody's fucking distracted. They're getting distracted by this, distracted by that, watching fucking Netflix jerking off to porn up like fucking jackasses. It's so easy to win if you can control your own mind. But it seems that nobody fucking can. And that's how the people who run the world keep the world running. Because they have all the slaves exactly where they need them to be. Permanently distracted and semi-depressed. Working their asses off in jobs which will never satisfy them and never pay enough money. That's the matrix. Hey, Andrew, how do I get like a six pack quick? What's the best, fastest way to get a six pack? Why does it have to be quick? Why does it have to be easy? Why do you think life is all quick and easy? Why can't it be hard and difficult? Why can't you suffer? Because suffering is what gives it value. If everyone had a six pack and it was quick and easy, then it wouldn't be valuable, would it? If everyone walked around with a six pack and they got it easily, then no one would give a shit. The whole point is that it's difficult to get. Value is linked to difficulty. If you want something that is valuable, you need something which is difficult to obtain. The fact that you just said you wanted it quick and easily shows that your whole mental moral is fucked. You shouldn't be thinking about quick and easy. You should be thinking about hard, suffering, pain, going through it. That's what you should be thinking about. This is going to be hard, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because when it is done, then everyone's going to know that I went through something difficult. Why do you want it to be quick and easy? You're Don't right. you understand it how it defeats the mind? Is? It defeats your mind is broken. Your mind is broken. I say that life as a man is exceptionally difficult. I say the most beautiful and the most terrifying thing about being a man is you're born without value. Society doesn't care about you. You're only gonna be cared about based on how useful you are. You have the chance to build yourself up and become a superhero if you're prepared to do the hard work and be indefatigable enough to never quit. 
But if you're going to stand around and wait for a handout, nobody's going to ever respect you. I think that the world's never going to think you're important unless you make yourself important. I think you get to decide what character you want to be in this movie, which is your life. You can decide if you want to be a comedian or a musician right. or a fighter. You get to decide what you want to be. And if you work hard enough, you can become it. It's the denial that's going to hold you back the most. The people who go, yes, I'm wasting my potential. Those are the ones who have potential. The ones who stand up and go, I am wasting my potential. I could be anything and I am not that yet. They have a chance. This stream actually, like, I'm pretty sure changed, like, lives. I swear to God. Like, you changed lives just now. I hope so. One thing, one thing about it is I feel like this is not just a movie trailer for, this is not just a movie trailer for, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hold on, daddy up. This is a movie, this is a movie trailer. I, I didn't want that fan and shit to, to be loud. Anyways. This is a movie trailer for everybody else, you know what I'm saying, of, of, of having your own movie, you know what I'm saying, of having having what what the rest of your life could look like or will be like if you keep on pushing. Um, and I feel like that's important. Um, and I feel like I needed to hear this because I'm going through a lot of shit uh, myself and fight my own, my own demons and shit, you know. Um, but it's getting better, you know what I'm saying? This definitely helped, and I definitely uh, appreciate, you know what I'm saying, this this whole movie trailer. Um, I know a lot of people give Andrew Tate hate about shit, but one thing about it is he speaks the truth for this shit, and that's what people got to realize. But uh, definitely appreciate everybody tuning in, watching this reaction, and Daddy is up right now, probably going to get a South Park. Maybe I'll get another reaction in. Make sure y'all stay tuned, you know what I'm saying, for more reactions. Definitely appreciate everybody tuning in. Catch y'all next.